standing back that blue bit looks slightly strange so I am just going to add a little bit of the yellow ochre and whilst we've got that on the brush let's do the stamens we can get quite a lot out of this so what I'm gonna do is onto my little canvas I'm gonna squeeze some gel but you can use any gel and that'll help it to flow a little better and then into my yucky mix I'm gonna put some white and I'm gonna put some copper and let's just sort of run that through there. And then I'm going to press my board with all that on there into that and I'm just going to wiggle around and then see what happens. Woo! Interesting. Let's go back down to that side and let's do a bit more wiggling. Maybe slide along. And I quite like the textures. I'm going to leave that because I think because that's paste, that's going to dry see through and that's going to be quite interesting. And those bits of copper are also coming through. So let's just leave that all to dry. Now this shape really lends itself to an iris, so let's just get the basic shape in and I don't think we're going to have to do too much for that, there's a bit of a yellow that would come there. And then let's draw the shape around the bottom, so I'm going to go with a blue and a red, a bit of white to make a mauve. And let's just get that shape. So that's there, and then that goes. I don't want to do too much. So I think it's almost there with just the accidents that happened. Darken that in a minute. That's quite deep. I'm go for the, the blue on its own going into that. right and then we've got some bits that come sort of here and there we've got the white in the right place there now shadow there wouldn't hurt just to pop that in. Now what I think I might do to outline some of that shape without doing lots and lots of detail because we really don't want the detail is Let's use some gold. Find a tinier brush, I think.
So it's all going with a lot of what's there. There's lovely veins showing through that are just completely natural. I think there. And I can reglaze this later. Mix some white and some of the turquoise together and just get a few leaves coming up. Quite happy for some of those bits underneath to show through. It's already got quite a natural little head bit there. I'm really thinking that that's probably as much as I need to do because I really want those patterns to be showing through that are underneath. It's dry so all I'm going to do is with some of my gel, with just clear gel, it looks like PPA to start with, I'm just going to flick that in over some of the um, paint that I put on so that it's nice and glossy when it dries. And those leaves. Else that needs doing. Just... Yeah, I'll just leave that to dry. And um, yeah, who would think that we could have made an iris out of just squidging some paint onto our palette to use that paint? It's great fun and it really makes you use your imagination and really think. So I hope you'll have a go with something of your own. Thank you for watching.